Hello, my fellow style gamers. It's your gal, Gamer Galaxy 792 and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Bay Ace Attorney Justice for All. Last time we finished up investigating, we talked to Mia for a bit. She's kind of holding out on some stuff from us. <clears throat> that we're holding the key to solving this case, like a little key. Furthermore, we got to start off the trial with Detective Gumshoe's testimony, and we got to meet our prosecutor, the successor to Manfred Von Karma, Francisca Von Karma, who is just as cold as her father, and she has a whip. She's whipped Gumshoe, she's whipped us, and she's whipped the judge, so we're here to learn more, to hear more testimony from Gumshoe, what transpired <clears throat> the day in the murder, so let's get into it. Ooh, I love this music. The channeling the defendant saw her chance to stab the victim in the chest. Almost the victim used the last of his strength to fight back, sir. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. The victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he hit. The defendant then picked up on the opening, took the victim's gun, and ended it. Hmm, the scenario you have put together does make sense. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Wright, on the surface, it does seem to make sense. However, I won't give up that easily. Please refrain from glaring at me like that. Listen, I at this point, I got every right to glare at you, man. At this point. Now then, your cross-examination, please. I think I know where I'm going. During the channeling, the defendant's large chance to stab the victim in the chest. Of course, the victim used the last of his strength by faster. While the two were fine, the victim took out his gun. The victim took a shot, but because they were too close to hit. Because they were too close. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> that powder residue around Bumble Hole, which would make sense if. <coughs> Sorry. Which would make sense if they were close, but. Wait a damn minute. So first thing, this is the caution of Maya War when Gray was killed. Where's the gunpowder burned? Okay, Gumshoe, you're pulling my damn leg on this one. Objection! <laughs> Missing the tiny hole on this costume will be the prosecution's undoing. Eh? What do you mean? This little hole has actually created a huge hole in your testimony! Uh, explain yourself, Mr. Bright. You said the two of them were fighting when the victim fired his gun at point blank. If that were true, then where is the gunpowder burn on this costume? Gunpowder burn? <clears throat> this is what you testified earlier. When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. Oh! <clears throat> There is not a single trace of gunpowder burn on this costume. That is a very good point. And what exactly does this mean? It means that when the shot was fired, they were standing apart from each other. Objection! Now what, Francisca? God, you just... You also remind me a bit of Edward. I'm disappointed, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You think you could punch a hole in my logic with that? With wishy-washy thinking like that, anyone can explain anything away. Then I employ you to disprove my line of thinking. Let's see. In the middle of their fight, the victim pushed the defendant away. And it was then, when they were separated, that he fired. How was that? I mean, it's not bad, but I don't think that's right. As if that was even possible. According to testimony, the wound from the stabbing was very severe. The victim would not have had the strength to push the defendant very far after that. Girl, what is that spray? Yeah, sweat, girl, sweat. Well, then. That's right. The defendant must have pushed the victim away. 
After stabbing him, she must have put some space between the doctor and herself. And then while she was preparing to strike again, the doctor took a shot. Why would they even do that? Damn, that's just that's by even you. That does make an awful lot of sense. What do you think, Mr. Wright? Just be careful. I can't afford to make a mistake here. I just ready to think. Nah, 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 nah. Uh-uh. No, come on, Phoenix. You know better. There's a fatal flaw in her argument, Your Honor. Fatal? Flaw? Yow! Very interesting. I would love to hear what this flaw is. Show me something that contradicts my explanation. There has to be a snag in her explanation somewhere. He put some distance between them before rushing to make the final blow. And when she was about to strike, the doctor took a shot. There must be a piece of evidence that contradicts this line of thinking. So if we're talking about the bullet hole, the bullet hole, and the costume, because we're saying that since there's no gunpowder burn, those two, the costume was in anywhere close to the gun. <gasps> the folding screen, about eight inches off the ground is a small hole that looks like a bullet hole. What about this? <clears throat> what about the folding screen? It also doesn't... If it's that, if that's a bullet, <coughs> sorry. If that's a bullet hole, and there's no gunpowder burn, here, have this, Francis guy. Take that. <coughs> this is the piece of evidence that destroys your logic. What is that? A folding screen? I would like to point out the point the court's attention to the hole in this folding screen. <coughs> It looks like you already know what I'm talking about. Oh, where? Well, what? Mr. Wright, your explanation, please. Are you still really that clueless? Yes. The bullet went through the defendant's sleeve first, then the folding screen. It passed through at a height of approximately 8 inches off the ground, which means... When the shot was fired, Maya, I mean the defendant, was not getting ready to strike, but was actually squatting low to the ground. <coughs> order, order! This changes everything. Please look at this diagram of the crime scene. The victim, Dr. Gray, was here when he fired the shot. When the bullet hit the folding, this folding screen, it hit at this location, about 8 inches off the ground. At this time, the defendant was in this area. Okay, let's follow the trajectory. So we have Dr. Gray here. About here. I'm gonna say this is probably just about a little over a feet. Where would Maya have been? So if we're saying that if she was low to the ground because of her sleeve uh, be having that bullet hole, she would have to have been near the trajectory. Been like around here. Take that! She was standing here near the folding screen. Oh, wait a second! We know the defendant was close to the ground based on the height of this bullet hole. How could you gauge the distance from that? Oh, girl, 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 chill! Isn't it possible the defendant was standing much closer to the victim? Uh, no fucking way. That's impossible. <coughs> Why? <laughs> you of all people should know the answer to that question, Miss Von Karma. If she were stopped from somewhere closer, there would be gunpowder burns present. Mm-hmm. <coughs> but she was closer to the folding screen. If she was, <coughs> which by what the co costume and folding screen are telling us, then probably was. Oh boy. However, there is nothing of the sort around the bullet hole of this costume. Ah! Costume, Mr. Phoenix, right? You. I believe it has now been proven that the defendant was standing away from the victim when she was shot at. Do you think this has changed the defendant's situation? Yes, it does! Honestly, Your Honor, this changes everything. The prosecution has claimed that the defendant was aiming to kill by stabbing. 
If that were true, delivering the final strike with the knife would be ideal. However, where and what was the defendant doing at that time? Behind all the way from the folding screen? Exactly. And my fave was the real murderer. Why would she have be by the folding screen instead of preparing to strike? <laughs> Upon further consideration, it does make very little sense. Yeah, I figured there had to be a reason. <clears throat> Figuring things out and proving the logic behind everything is your job. <laughs> right. This, the rest of the trail should be in the... How? God, she really is just like Manfred. God! Last radius of disaster. You are such a smart man, Mr. Phoenix Wright. To think that you've been able to take a completely hopeless case at this point. Now I know why Papa had a tough time with you. Mm, you would amuse me. Listen, lady, I'm not interested. Yeah, that's disgusting. I only have my heart out for Ed what? <sighs> All the things in here. Why did it have to be this that smarmy smile? And the whip. Detective, how dare you damage my perfect logic? Huh? How's it all my fault? You can stop re-preparing your standing by first removing that three-stand goatee. Oh, and rest assured your punishment will come later. P punishment? Well then, Your Honor, I think I've had all I can take of this detective's face. I think it's time to call in the next witness. Oh, dear God. Next witness? That's gotta be Lada. Very well. The court will take a five-minute recess. After we reconvene, we will hear from the next witness. I probably could have gone on a little longer, but it, oh well. Oh, yeah, I could have gone on a little longer. Mabby. Oh well. We'll just get- we'll just save and we'll continue. Well, so far we've been hanging on to dear life. Hi, hey, Maya. Why Don't look so sad, girl, please. <sighs> that was a close one. I know you were giving it your all to defend me. I could feel the death penalty hanging in the air. I felt like I was pretty close to dying myself. But you were wonderful out there. Hi, Pearl. Did you enjoy the watching the trial? You listened carefully, made theories, and took everyone into believing you. <sighs> Wait, trick? That would be the lawyer's secret technique, right? By the way, is the next one this who I think it is? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of heart. Oh, guess there's no escaping her, huh? Remember, Nick, we promise you saved me. If you lose me, my sis ghost will come after you and haunt you. No sister? Um, are you talking about Mystic Mia? Yeah, do you remember her, Pearly? My sister was a super good lawyer. She was also Nick's teacher. Oh, I didn't know that. It's alright, Pearl. Aw, <laughs> oh, wasn't that just a nice, sweet little chat? Alright, let's get back into this, shall we? Court will now reconvene. Now, the first order of- Ow! Oh, I told you want to hear it, old man. After I call my witness, sit that quietly and watch like a good little boy. Yes, sir. Bring in the photographer who witnessed the tunneling. Hi, Lada. Witness your name and occupation, if you please. Hey, Phoenix, how you doing? Just fine. Sorry about this, didn't exactly have a choice, you know. Yowza! Name and occupation. It's a What tarnation? My gosh, this here's a It's violence against my fair self. That's fine. That's fine? That ain't fine with a whip! Yeah! There's no need for foolish outcries from foolishly foolish fools. Just hurry up to testify about what happened on the day of the murder. I haven't even gone to say my name and job yet. Girl, you may just want to go on. The name's not hot. Turn out with the doctor, and I'm here to testify. No, no, let's all be one big happy family, okay? You're gonna. I'm surprised you didn't get whipped for that. Witnesses account. Okay. Only the dark and the defendant were in the channeling chamber. We were waiting outside the door, then bang! We heard this gunshot! It's the lawyer there broke the door down, and we rushed into the room. Wait, you're telling me I did that by myself? Yo, because in the anime, it was Lana and Phoenix that broke the door down. Yo, you got- God, Phoenix! Dude, you got strength! Jesus. You- This is- Does Phoenix work out? 
that I was a dead victim and the defendant waving a pistol around. I swear, I didn't close to there was no one else in the room. Huh. And did you take a picture of the scene right after the murder took place? Rack and course! <gasps> Excuse me? Rack and course! It's sure for your racket? Of course I did! Ah! Does this look like I care? Just hurry up and show your picture to the court. Moment of truth. I will be in the, that picture. Um, let's see here. This here's the picture! What is it? Huh. Hmm. It would certainly seem that only the defendant and victim were in that room. Lotta's picture. A picture taken at the murder scene. Are you ready, Mr. Phoenix Knight? I'll clear all doubt about Maya through this cross-examination. Just watch me. Let's go. Witnesses account. Only the doc and the defendant went into the channeling chamber. We were waiting outside the door and then bang, we hear this gunshot. There's so the lawyer there broke the door down and we rushed into the room. Inside was dead victim and the defendant waving a pistol around. Oh, more about this. Are you sure it was the defendant, Maya Fay? Dumb stuff! I seems awfully confident in her testimony. But there are more. Lotta, please, think back to that day one more time. What you get in that? Remember what you said when we broke into the room? I was murdered. Lotta, at a time like this? Times like these are perfect for snapping up shots! But anyway, what's going on here? This gal, is she Maya? That's right, she questioned her. When you saw the murder at that time, you couldn't even tell if it was Maya Faye or not, am I correct? Um, uh, well, you see. Order, Miss Hart, you are here to present accurate testimony. Yeah, uh, sorry. This just stays back to my side. For a defense lawyer, your defense is terribly lacking, Mr. Phoenix Knight. Now what? Witness, think back to when those two entered the channeling chamber. When they entered? One of those people that entered the chamber was Maya Fay, correct? Yeah, that's right! Yeah, it was Maya that went in. Hmm. It looks like we've come to a, compl a collective conclusion. The person in this picture is most certainly Maya Fay. Exactly. Crap! Crap like one. Again! I swear, other than those two, there was no one else in the room. Absolutely certain of that. So I am. That old witch chases out of that room, so. Witch? Does she meet Morgan Fay? Oh god. But there was no one else in there, and you know it. The only table was very dark, almost pitch black. Is there really no one else in there? What about. Behind the phone screen, behind the door. Okay, that's stupid. Let me look at the floor plan. Okay, so we're either saying behind this door, under here, or behind here. When we took a look at the channeling chamber before the murder happened, there's nowhere to hide behind this door. I doubt there's anything hidden on the floor, but this area Phoenix saw was completely black, so what if there's a chance that someone was behind the folding screen? What about behind the folding screen? Did you check back there? We're at given! What in the... Rack given! You yeah, know, you yeah, reckon? That's a given! That took me a good look around the room once! There ain't no way anyone's hanging out behind that folding screen! Hmm, if I may have a word with you, Miss Hart. Oh, what? You got a problem? Rack given- I mean, I'm having a little difficulty in understanding you. If you would please stop saying such things, Rack given- oh. Now then, Mr. Phoenix, why, right? madam, I was in the middle of talking! Do you see a problem with this testimony, or don't you? 
What do you have to look? Doris, I was there at the scene of the crime with her. Which Doris is exactly how I would have told you. I went to talk with the and went to the channeling chamber. We were waiting outside the door in the bay and we heard the stuff stop. The lawyer that broke down the door and rushed into the room. Inside was the dead victim and the bed away around a pistol. I swear, other than those, there was no one else in the room. Okay, let's see. Only the other ones. Was it really only those that went in? Now what, Francis? What are you blabbering about? You were there too, were you not? Who was not you answer that for yourself? Was it really just two of them? Yes, Dr. Gray and mine were the only two that went in. Hold on, we can't have the defense test fine against the whole point. Anyway, folks, only two of them went to that challenge chamber, you hear? But you know that from the very beginning, didn't you? Witness, continue. We were waiting outside the door and then bang, we hear this gunshot. Hold it. Okay, tell me more. Was it really a gunshot? Felix, what's with these dumb questions? Are you insane? You must have heard it as well. Why don't you testify to the court, Mr. Phoenix, right? Was it really a gunshot? Think of why are we listening to defense test fire? The world comes to just a little forward. I heard a gunshot a long time ago, so I know. I tell you that was a gunshot I heard. Now this, this is where the story heats up. Phoenix, if you say something really stupid when I'm pressing this statement, I swear, I'm the stuck me. Oh my god. No, I'm not reading that. I just feel like an acquisition. No need for apologize, that was great, you're a real man. Really? That's something I would like to see. That's just smiling rather openly. I think that is a good sign. <sighs> just like God, there's nothing wrong with her testimony. I was with her, so I know she's telling the truth. <coughs> Enough. It seems that there are no issues in Miss Hart's testimony. At the time of the crime, only two people were in the channeling chamber. The victim, Dr. Turner Gray, and the defendant, Maya Faye. Hmm. The face of the defendant cannot be verified in this picture. However, if we think about the circumstances, it would have to be the defendant. <coughs> what am I going to do? I just let this go. What is it, Mr. Gray? Look as if you have something to say. Well, I mean, yeah. I make one wrong move. You want to have the judge against me? Is there anything I can present that would prove it's not mine in that photo? Wasn't her? Fuck. What did we do? Shit. Well, Mr. Wright? Nothing, Your Honor. That's very smart of you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You really should give up trying to prove this is not my FA. I didn't say anything about giving up. I just don't have the right piece of evidence to prove my argument. <coughs> Gone now, what? That's enough! Is that it? Is this all I could do? I think it is quite obvious to this court that a verdict of not guilty is not possible. I told you. Totally, 100% impossible. Ms. Von Karma, do you have any further questions for this witness? I haven't established the defense of guilt. <coughs> further questioning won't be needed. What about the defense? No further questions, I presume? Phoenix. Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face. A lawyer is someone who smiles, no matter how bad it gets. M Mia! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the fuck? Wait, is Pearl channeling? What? Where did Pearl come from? What the fuck? I guess I made it in time, wouldn't you say? You... Pearls! Your clothes are a bit small. Anyway, what are you waiting for, Phoenix? Let's go! But how? He's already taken away every advantage! The advantage is still in your hand. Carefully, one more time, about what you saw in the channeling chamber. Do you remember what you told me yesterday? D dr Gray! I was... murdered. 
What? Mother, at a time like this? Times like these are perfect for snapping up shots! There is one final piece to this puzzle. Yeah? Question Lada one more time, Peter. I don't know if she's doing it up consciously or on purpose. She's not testifying truthfully. Now then, this court would like to end the cross examination period. No, come on, let's go. Please wait, Your Honor. The defense would like to request that the witness testify one more time. Overruled. What? I'm afraid you're too late, Mr. Wright. The cross examination has already ended. Furthermore, any unrelated questions. Ah! It's fine. I'll allow another testimony. A Bungama's case is perfect, absolutely flawless, and what better time than than this for you to see that? But I mean, I have some place I must go after this. <laughs> All right, I'll allow it. Miss Hart, hurry and give us another testimony. Well, heck, what am I supposed to talk about? Please tell us once more what happened when you burst into the channeling chamber. Okay, you got it. See, you got through to the judge somehow, right? Well, actually, it was Von Karma's whip that got through to her- to him. Yeah. Well. Hmm. You know what? Let's finish up this day, of uh, court. Okay, what is a lot of testifying about? Witnesses account part two. When I broke into the room, all I could focus on was Naya. <clears throat> that was, a kind of scared of that- of the dead body, so I didn't take a good look at it. I'm really bad when it comes to blowing ghosts and stuff. But I still managed to point my camera in mine and take a shot. Nothing sounds different from before. Some parts of her testimony were very vague. She pressed her on those sections. Struggle all you like as you taste the bitterness of your defeat. Well, amuse me with your useless questions, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'm waiting. Alright. When we broke through that room, all I could focus on was Maya. I was, uh, kinda scared of, of the dead bodies I didn't take a good look at. I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff. But I still managed to point my camera at Maya and take a shot. Oh, I know more about this. Two, right? Two what? Two shot. That's right, because with the camera clicked twice. The first time when we found Gray the first time, and while we were seeing Maya, took two shots. But only one has been submitted as evidence. Miss Hart, where's the other picture you've been withholding? And don't even say that it doesn't exist. I was there. No, 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 you've got it all wrong. It's not me. I didn't mean anything bad. I know I could be a little mean, but I ain't evil. Well, at least she knows herself. And why have you not shown this other picture to the court yet? Well, ain't it obvious that prosecutor woman told me to show my trap about it. Excuse me? What? But karma! Oh god, like, really like father, like daughter. Miss Von Karma, you're hiding critical evidence. Unforgivable, Von Karma. Hiding evidence like this? You're as bad as your father. Ooh. Let's do it. Come on, let's go, Phoenix. Your honor, the defense asked that Prosecutor Von Karma be held in contempt of court. Me in contempt of court. You can't be serious. But you hid evidence of the court on purpose. That, that that's not fair. Phoenix, are you a lawyer or a school child? Both. I was so angry I lost my composure. Miss Von Karma, would you care to explain yourself to this court? I thought this picture was not important, and thus felt no need to submit it. That's all. How can you think? picture was more or less the same, so why bother with the second? I mean, it's just so much more trouble than it's worth for me to submit this evidence. Let's see it. It's more trouble than it's worth? How can you say that? If you want to see a death badly, I'll submit it. A lot of photos too. Picture taken with the murder scene. What's in it? Oh. Oh? Oh? Wait a minute. Okay, now hang on! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is- what is this picture? It's obviously the second picture the witness took that day at the scene of the crime. Well, it's a little off-center, but that's what you get at a- with a nervous amateur. 
um, I think the important po point here is the person is picking. This is most definitely not my effect! I was right, no one really knows about the spirit channeling crap. What is the meaning of this? This might be the break I was looking for. Should I not insist that the person in this picture is not my effect? Your honor, as you can plainly see, this person in this picture is not my fae. Yes, I see that. It is not just her face, her whole body is taking on a different appearance. There is only one conclusion that can be drawn, then. That somehow this other person snuck in and traded places to defend it. <sighs> order, order, order. Well, yes, I believe you are correct, Mr. Wright. The person who is inside the challenge table is not my fae. Yeah, we did it. You're too soft. Huh? You're softer than Aunt Morgan's strawberry desserts, Phoenix. Take a look at Prosecutor Von Karma's face. Cut. He's smiling? I think you'd better continue to worry, Mr. Phoenix, right? Miss Von Karma, what do you mean by that? Your Honor, I would like you to take a look at this picture. What's that? What? But wait, what? This was taken at the yesterday at the detention center's visitor room. This is Mr. Phoenix Wright and the defendant, Maya Fay, during his visit. Maya Fay? But isn't this a totally different person? M what? What the fuck? She looks at this way because she's obviously in the middle of channeling a spirit. What the fuck? What? It's unbelievable that she can. Yet, yeah, it is true. When my fae is in that state, she physically changes into the person she's calling. Von Karma, you goddamn snake! Miss Von Karma, a word if I may? Yeah? Taking pictures of someone during a private visit is illegal. Surely you must know that this picture can't be submitted as evidence. Obviously, I know this picture is illegal, but I never intended to submit it as evidence in the first place. Why did she? From the moment I showed this picture to the court, this case became all mine. After all, this image has now been forever burned into the judge's mind. Oh, god damn it. I don't even have a single witty line. The most I've even had. I don't claim to understand this, and I still cannot believe it. Are you saying that this person, this person is the defendant, my effect? If I fear this trial will end. From the the lawn, just me. Is there any way I can prove that this person's picture is not mine? Oh, yeah, we can! Yeah, the sleeve! Your honor! Oh, the fire has returned to your eyes, I see. No, now you're on my side. This picture. Without this picture, within this picture lies a critical contradiction to all the testimony up until now. A contradiction? So, you think you've spotted the problem with this picture? Then earn your keep. Why don't you put that exactly what is so strange in this picture? Um, she's missing a bullet hole in her sleeve! Please direct your attention here. To the sleeve? But, but there aren't- there isn't anything odd about it. Now hang on, I'm getting there. And that's exactly what is so odd. Something that should be there is suddenly missing. Should be there? Ah! That seems you remember. There was a bullet hole in the sleeve of the defendant's costume. If that is the case, then it should be in this picture as well. Miss Von Karma, you, you intended to hide this valuable piece of evidence? You will most certainly be assigned a penalty for this. Right, this should do some major damage to our argument. Don't celebrate yet. I have to bring down the loot, don't you? Take a look at Miss Von Karma's face. Is she s <sighs> she got that condescending grin plaster all over her face again. Get that bow at Christy out of here. Dump the gun again, I see. Your honor. I would like to extend an apology on behalf of this, those incompetent fools. What do you mean? And what incompetent fools? If those fools down in the precinct hadn't missed the bullet hole, 
I would have gone with a report about it. As I did, I could not have known that the city was of any value to say. I know it. A woman knew about everything. Bull hold the picture everything. You can't prove that. Francisca von Karma's idea of a perfect case is quite fascinating, don't you think? Your Honor, you need not worry. You must plan a penalty. I'll personally make sure that the detective gets coming. Oh god, sorry, Dr. Stu. I'm sure there will be a great gap na gnashing of teeth at his next valley discussion. Poor Dr. Stu. I know, right? In any case, this is a very big problem. When the defendant was taken into custody, or caution had a bull hole in the sleeve. However, from this photo, it would appear that right after the shooting, it was done. The judge is confused by this strange twist of events. This is your chance, Demons. Load all you've got into this one shot, alright? Got it. Watch this, Maya. Haha! <laughs> Stow off! Your honor! There is only one logical explanation for this contradiction. Here's somebody else. The defendant's sleeve had a bullet hole in it. However, this person clearly does not. There can only be one explanation. The person who shot Dr. Gray was not the defendant, but a different person altogether. What? This is now friends with uh, Let me take the floor. The spotlight is mine now. Order, order, order. If order is not restored, I will suspend this trial. Ow! Ah! Why? The defense! The defense argument is a complete mess! Mess. I don't see how. Please enlighten us. Hey, witness! Ah! What the heck? Say to ask the gal a favor? What is you? You were the one who said it was only the two of them when you entered the room. Well, you know. If you would die, I swear that my whip will be the last thing you see. Look, sis. Look at mine. It's scary, so why don't we say you? Ah! I swear I wasn't lying on it. There wasn't anyone else in there on it. Now riddle me with this, Mr. Phoenix, right? Where did the defendant vanish to? And where did this other woman appear from? Why is it lately? All I want to do is cry. I don't know, maybe it's because you've been under a lot of stress? Well, the person in this picture is not the defendant. And this posed two very big questions. Just only two? First, where did the defendant vanish to? Second, where did this person come from? Right, now hurry up and answer, Mr. Phoenix, right? Come on, you can't fall apart here, Phoenix, right? Why are you calling me by my full name now, Mia? I can't believe that even Mia's calling me by my full name. I know! You never called me that! You never only ever called me Phoenix! But, I mean, how am I supposed to prove something like this? Had enough yet, Mr. Phoenix, right? Well, do you think you have enough in you to turn things around even now? Are things around? Come on! Go. Right, we would always turn things around and change their perspective. Phoenix? Just hang on, girl, I got it. Where did this murder appear from? Where did my disappear there? If you look at the situation from a different angle, see. What if before we broke in, the third person was already in the room? And what if Maya had left that room somehow? I could prove that either one of those conditions were true. Mr. Wyatt, let's see what you come up with. I think what happened before we forced our way into the challenge chamber is... Hmm. A third person had entered and Maya had left the room. I said I can't explain that. Well, the first person couldn't have just entered in because we were outside the chamber breaking the door down. Sorry, I might- I'm kinda tired right now when I'm recording this, though. <gasps> oh, fuck, the key! Cause Maya was the only one that had it! I think Maya left the room! Maya had left the channeling chamber at some point, and the defense can prove this! Oh, how the foolishly fool makes a foolish face while dreaming foolishly foolish things. Mighty Faye was being looked after by her aunt's Morgan Faye. The chance of her leaving the crime scene is lower than the detective's salary. Anyway, let's see some evidence. Prove that from the murder until the time of the arrest, the defendant had left the room. This! Take that! 
Miss Hart, do you remember this key? Um, well, I've seen it. Hi! That's the challenge chamber key, right? Before the challenge died, Maya locked the door from the inside with that. The defendant herself locked the door? Yeah, that's why we all couldn't get the door open. That key is the only one in its kind after all. Oh, one of a kind, you say? Yeah, you see now, Francisca? Wait, is the phoenix right? Yes? It looks like she's catching on. I'm afraid to ask, but... Why is that key currently in your possession? Uh, huh? What do you mean? If Maya Faye locked herself in, then the key should have been with her. Yes, agreed. However, she did not have the key at the time of her arrest. <laughs> ah! Well, ain't that a kick? So how come you're holding it? I got this as a present from a stern little girl. And that little girl was nowhere near the crime scene at the time. Alright, Pearl! That's preposterous! This means that my fate must have left the room. If he had not, then I would not be holding this key you see before you. No! I cannot wait to look back at the floor and hear my impression of Francisca. I cannot wait. It seems we have come to an impasse. This picture has clearly captured the face of the murderer. However, is this person the defendant or not? The defense is arguing that this person is not the defendant. Furthermore, as proof, this key has been submitted as evidence. Ms. Von Karma, how can this be? At this point in time, a verdict on the defendant's guilt is not possible. My perfect case! How is that flaw my perfect case? I don't think you've won yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I am a prodigy. I have never lost a case. I don't intend to lose here in this courtroom to a fool like you. Don't even think about whipping me, girl. I don't care what I have to do. I will get my guilty verdict. That's enough. If you would like to continue, do so in the lobby. Don't thank you. Court will reconvene tomorrow at 10 a.m. That is all. Court is adjourned. Oh my god. Jumping back between... <laughs> Between Francisca and the judge voice, oh god, <laughs> and Lana, I'm sorry guys, my throat's dying. Wow, that was you, Pearly? You summoned my sis? Yes, I felt like I had no choice. Great going, Pearly. I knew you were special. Hey, Nick, did you know? Um, yeah, not like anyone else there could have done that. Nick, I know you're trying really hard and all, but... I really don't remember ever leaving that room. And I don't think that a third person could have gone into that room. Yeah. Well, at least we have until tomorrow to figure things out. Like, what happened in that room, for instance? Yeah, I'm counting on you. Ah, uh, I envy the two of you. Oh, by the way, Nick. Do you think you can take Curly back home for me? Yeah, I'm gonna take her to the train. I'm not having her run all the way home again. Let's go and buy train with me. Come on, Pearl. Sure. Alright, Pearl. Ready to go buy some tickets? Huh? A ticket? Oh, I'm so sheltered. We'll educate you on the train. It's fine. Alright. So next time, we will continue on with the next investigation day. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.